What's up guys, today we got a pretty cool video. I've had a lot of people wanted to see what the shop box that I got from Montezuma looks like with some tools in it and kind of give an update on it. So that's what today's video is. So you guys check it out, come on. All right guys, so there it is, the Montezuma shop box. Um, many of you may have watched the unboxing of this. This is the one with the drawer underneath as well as the power storage on it. Super cool box. Um, I've had the triangle box for a while and I love it. So the shop box is a great addition, but I've had a lot of guys wanted to know what it looks like after I got the tools in it. What are my thoughts after getting to use it for a while and all this. So today we're going to be taking a look at it. So my first complaint, if you will, you can see the glue residue that's left on here. It had the big sticker across the front. They used like a double-sided tape and oh my God, it was terrible to get off. But that's pretty much my only complaint with the whole box. Now, before we get started with this, I wanna make sure you guys understand this is um, kind of an addition to my other boxes. I'm gonna kind of run over some of the pros and cons with this box of what I really like about it and some things that I see some issues with or whatever. And we'll kind of look at some of the stuff that I've added to it up until this point. But like I say, I've still got a lot of room to grow. As you see, we've got a lot of empty socket pegs on there and stuff that I'm wanting to add to this box. And uh, we'll just kind of go over everything and let you guys take a look at it across the back. As you see, I have SAE wrenches that go from one quarter inch all the way up to an inch and an eighth. I've got about three more I'd like to put on there. And what I may do is double stack them because as you can see, there's plenty of room here to come out to add more wrenches. But I'd like to get that up to about an inch and a half and um, you know that'll cover everything I need. The second row is six millimeter all the way up to 28 millimeter. And I've got about three or four more wrenches. Probably gonna have to do the same, double stack them out here. Now my sockets is kind of a little bit different. I use a lot of impacts and in this box I actually put a good bit of chrome, but you can see the half inch impacts are here, uh, deep and shallow. And I've got a couple of pegs left on the SAE side that I We'll probably just go ahead and finish out. Um, most of the time when you get down this small, you're not gonna use, you know, you're not gonna use half inch drive stuff. So, you know, that's down to a three eighths. That's probably as small as I'd ever wanna go with a half inch drive. But anyway, there's definitely some extra pegs there that you can use. Um, I don't have that much three eighths stuff in here now cause I'm actually looking at another socket set to actually go in this box. But I do have some deep snap on, um, 3.8 sockets goes from, I think it was an eight, yeah, eight millimeter up to a 19. And then here is a set of the shallows that I have that goes up to a 27, I think so it was. Yeah, 27 millimeter. And uh, of course my quarter inch set, this is the blue point set that goes from like 5.5 up to 14 and then up to I think it was nine sixteenths in the standards. And you can see how they work. You know, there's a couple of empty pegs here, but five millimeter all the way up to 14. And then your SAE sides here, shallow on the bottom, deep on the, the back side or the bottom side, however you wanna look at it. But I got a lot of room to grow still in this box and it's pretty much got, you know, other than a couple of sockets in it, pretty much everything I'm gonna need uh, for what I'm gonna use it for. I definitely like the fact that you can put your chargers in this box and run them through the hole here. Of course, there's the 12 volt Milwaukee and the Snap-on 14.4. And um, here's where your power tools go. You can see I've got a 14.4 here, the uh, 3.8 stubby, or the half inch stubby, sorry, and then the quarter inch driver. And, you know, I kind of like the, the layout of everything, the way it's made. Of course, this lid opens up. That's one of the things um, I'm gonna have to, you know, rearrange. As you can see, the drawer doesn't open all the way. 
because I've got my deeps on the top. And I actually prefer it that way because I can see it better, but it does keep your, your lid from opening all the way if you guys want to do it that way, but it's still plenty sufficient to get inside. You can see I got a 14.4 um, long neck 3.8 power probe kit, uh, scan tool, test lead set, and a light. So it holds, you know, there's a lot of room still to go in there. If you guys want to, you know, just kind of, you can stack that thing full if you want to, you know, holds a lot of stuff under there. And then here you can see we got the Matco screwdriver set, snap on pick set, stripper, hammer, Matco uh, scraper set, micro torch, pair of Nipex, adjustable wrench, cutters, two different 3H ratchets, quarter inch sockets, I mean a quarter inch extensions and a quarter inch blue point ratchet back there in the back. Uh, I've got my long half inch Matco here in the front with some different extensions. You know, I mean, this box really does a great job of providing a whole lot of tool storage and a very small footprint, as you guys can see here. So, you know, there's been a lot of people really wanted to see what it looks like kind of after I get it loaded or after I've had a chance to load it down with tools. And there you guys can see it. But it holds a tremendous amount of tools. And like I said, I've still got a lot of room to grow in this box. Of course, all of this will be full of 3 8 sockets through here once it's done. Just kind of want to give a little update because so many people has asked about it. And uh, I guess people are maybe thinking about getting one for their shop or home garage or whatever. But, you know, they did a really good job basing the pegs on these. The only one I've had any issue with is right here and that's where I've got my 13 millimeter you know there's a little bit of gap issue here and it kind of sets a little crooked but you know every other wrench hangs perfectly on there as you can see across the box and that's the Mac wrenches on the back snap on wrenches all across the front they did a really good job when they designed this box like you know the socket layouts are good nothing's you're not having to skip pegs because they won't fit on a peg. They did a really good job as far as making sure they're spaced out enough for the applications that you need. You just gotta make sure when you start with your largest size that you put it on the right peg, obviously, and uh, you won't have any issues with it. But all of them fit really nicely on there. They did a real good job. I've got the store smart box. It's not nearly as good as this one with a peg layout. A lot of times you have to skip two or three pegs along the way and that's just wasted space. Anyway, you guys can see how it works. Obviously you can put different batteries and this and that down here if you want to, but this box is going on the other side of the shop. So I'm not really worried about the battery storage on here. I did want to have a way to charge the batteries in this. So anyway, there you go. That's what the Montezuma shop box looks like with some tools in it and kind of the uh, layout that I'm going for, for what I'm wanting to use it for on the other side of the shop. But anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, you take your finger and you click that button. That's all it takes. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you next time. See ya.